Hey guys, Pitmaster here. We're gonna go back in, back in time. Back, way back. I'm gonna go back to Honolulu, Kaju Kempo. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over some of Kaju Kempo's favorite strikes, the hammer blow. Now, the hammer blow is one of the most used strikes. And Kaju Kempo is a street fighting tech, uh, system. How many of these techniques do you think are applicable now? And how many would you discard? I've kept some of the hammer blows and I've discarded some. Let me go over some of the ones I learned as a kid and then some of the ones I've discarded and some of the ones I've kept and some of the ones I've modified first and then kept. Okay? Now, we had hammer blows for days. We had the downward hammer blow, do you guys remember? Okay, very effective, still used today. We had the inward hammer blow. I don't know what this was for, but we used this one a lot. I mean, I guess you could hit someone on the side of the face, but I would rather hit them with a hook. But that's the inward hammer. Then, the craziest one of all, the outward hammer blow. I don't know when you'd use that, but the only thing I could think of is if I had a knife or if I was on a plane I had my tactical pen, I might use that to somebody's face. Hopefully I'm going to get them in the eye. But as a fist, I don't think it's going to hurt that much. So I don't know if I would keep that one. And we're going to go over all these in a sec. Then we had the circular hammer blow. Remember that one guys? Okay, that one is to the groin. I might use that one. Okay, we had the backward hammer blow, which was also to the groin. Um, and we had the side hammer blow, which I still use today, but I modified it. So that's one of those ones where I'm gonna show you how I still use it, but it's modified. It used to be used like this. Okay, remember that guys? You step into a horse stance, and you do the, the hammer blow. Okay, so those are the basic hammer blows. Downward, inward, outward, circular, side and back. All right, now, which ones I've done away with? I've done away with the inward and outward. We even used to do the inward, outward. Remember that, guys? We didn't even be doing it from a fight set. I would never use that unless I had a knife or my tactical pen. Okay, so I did away with the inward and outward. If I was going to hit someone like this, I'd rather hit him like that. If I'm going to hit someone like this, I'd rather hit him like this. Okay, so I did away with the inward and outward. I don't teach that. I don't practice that. Um, the circular, I like, to, I like to use this sometimes when I'm doing some, some of my knife techniques because I think that would be a good striking move, especially like a fake. You fake and then you do a, 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 a modified circular. That would hurt if it hit someone in the groin, especially if you had a blade. So once in a while, I might even do a, a fake and a, a modified uh, circular hammer blow to hit the groin. So I've modified that and I've kept that in, okay? Back hammer blow, that's just an instinctual thing. We, don't, we never practice that, and I, I'll never keep it in the curriculum. Downward hammer blow, we do all day long. We practice that from the, uh, from the informal stance, and we practice that from our horse stance. But we don't do it as a fighting technique standing. We practice the uh, side hammer blow, or the downward hammer blow, if someone's on the ground. Instead of punching them and hurting your hands, there's a lot of positions where we use the downward hammer blow. Another one I'm gonna show you real quick right here. Um, like if somebody's coming down for a takedown and I've avoided the takedown, this is the perfect time to do a downward hammer blow. You don't really have a place to punch them as much, um, but this is a perfect time where you can control their head and do a, a downward hammer blow to the back of their head or their neck. Okay. Another time is sometimes you get the arm in this position here, 
okay? And you don't want to you know, be grappling and you have a hold of the wrist, a downward hammer blow would be good to break their arm, okay? But mostly the downward hammer blow is for the ground. Okay, now the side hammer blow. The side hammer blow used to just snap from here. I don't do that. The way I teach a side hammer blow is, say you miss a left hook, well you come right back, okay? You miss a right hook, you can come back. It's usually coming back from a technique, or if someone's standing here. But the difference, the, the way I modified it, it used to be a snap. I don't think you get much power or knockout uh, effect with that snap, but I would use my arm, my shoulders, and my hips to, to gain power, okay? But I still consider it a hammer blow. But it's not as much of a snap as it is using a hammer. Because you never see anyone doing a hammer just like that. They're giving it all their power. So I've kept in the side hammer blow uh, as well. Another one we didn't really talk on because people, people think of it as a back fist, but I've kept in the side, the spinning hammer blow, okay? Spinning hammer blow and spinning back fist are very closely related. It's just spinning with your hand this way or this way. Not much difference in the effect, so I didn't even keep, keep uh, I didn't even um, include it in this, okay? But the ones, ones I've kept are side hammer blow, modified and use the circular hammer blow, uh, and definitely use the downward hammer blow, okay? So, anyway, that's my hammer blow video. Uh, I hope everybody enjoys it and gets something out of it, especially you old school Kaji Kempo guys. Please comment and uh, let me know what your martial arts experience is and what you think about hammer blows. All right, thanks for coming.